This research focuses on mischievous responders and on their influence on our estimates of between group disparities. But mischievous responders are youth who provide extreme and very likely untruthful responses to multiple items on surveys. And in doing so, they bias our conclusions about groups. So in particular, they bias our interpretations of groups that they are claiming to be members of, even though they may not be members of those groups. The two main findings from this research are, first, we can plausibly detect mischievous responders with already existing data. And the second finding is that even a very small group of mischievous responders has the potential to dramatically affect our estimates of between group disparities. I'm proposing a four-step sensitivity analysis procedure that will help researchers get a sense of the extent to which mischievous responders are present in their data and also help them identify which individuals are the mischievous responders so that they can perhaps exclude them from their analyses to arrive at more accurate conclusions. So this is providing practical solutions for researchers. And it doesn't take that many individuals from the non-minority group to claim that they are a member of the minority group and end up biasing the estimates. And the way that we can detect is these non-minority group members are not just drawn to saying that they're a minority group member, perhaps because they think it's funny, but they're also drawn to all sorts of items that have low frequency response options. So they're gonna say things like, I'm blind, I'm deaf, I'm extremely tall, I'm in a gang. And we look at the collection of those responses to identify the kids who are most likely to be mischievous responders. And when we remove those individuals from the analyses, we end up with very different impressions of the relative risk of these different groups that we want to compare. This research is really about the issue of data validity. So we need valid data so that we can have sound empirical research findings. And we need sound research findings so that we can make sound policies. So mischievous responders end up biasing our impressions of the research findings. They lead to poor policy making, and they also perpetuate negative uh, stereotypes about minority groups. So mischievous responders affect many different aspects of research policy and also the general public discourse. Mischievous responders make it difficult for us to judge the effectiveness of educational interventions. And they make it difficult in particular because we want to know if educational interventions are differentially beneficial to individuals who are members of minority groups. And the presence of these mischievous responders kind of sneaking into these minority groups by claiming to be something that they're not is really going to throw off our estimates of how effective these interventions are at reducing the risk. 